Hey, I thought I would do a really quick video today on how I package my tarts. Um, I make them in assorted music note. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Assorted music notes and cherries. So I have these molds that I use and I end up with batch of tarts. See? And I'm just, I have to package them and I thought, well, hey, I'm going to go ahead and just video this while we do it. So I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. Don't forget to like the video and please subscribe if you're new here. All right, so let's get started here. And I, I need to warn you about two things. Number one, I do have dogs and they tend to get a little um, riled up when they hear something and our neighbor's dogs are going crazy so they may go crazy too. Number two, I woke up starving to death and my stomach's growling so if you hear something that sounds like a grizzly bear, it's my stomach. All right, now when I make a batch it usually makes six or seven packs of these. And these are cello bags. Um, they don't suck the scent out of your wax melts. Okay, so my battery died just as I was getting up on my soapbox about not putting your wax melts in Ziploc baggies. Don't do it. All right. And I do use glitter on my wax melts. I think it's pretty, but it also gets all over the place. So here in just a moment, I'm gonna put on my gloves. Not really so much because I don't want to contaminate anything because they are just wax melts, It'd be kind of like a candle, but because I don't want to get glitter all over me. All right, and on the back of my packs, I always put a warning label. And I got these, you know, I can't remember if I got these from Rustic Accentuals or if it was Aztec Candles. I'll have to look and see and I'll, I'll put it in the description. But they are, oh, wow, I couldn't have got that any more crooked if I wanted to. There we go. These are perfect. I think there's like a thousand on this roll. I, I might have paid $20 for it. I, I, I really don't know. I'll have to look and see. And since I've changed my battery, Frankie, our pug, decided she was going to eat. So. She actually sounds like a pig over there in the corner wolfing that food down. We have Frankie the Pug, we have Piper the Yorkie, and we have Two-Tone the Weenie Dog, who we call the old lady because she is very old now and kind of pitiful. Now these bags, I know I got from Rustic Essentials. These I use for samples. When I have leftover wax melts, I put them down in these bags for samples to give away. And I think these came from Amazon. I will have to look and see. I love wax melts, I always have. Uh, I love making them, I think it's a lot of fun. I love having them in my house burning them because well, you know, I do have dogs and sometimes I want my house to smell good. I always weigh out each bag. I try to put at least 1.75 ounces in each bag. Sometimes we get a little more, but I never put under that. And you gotta kinda finagle with it to get it to work out just right because I like to put, if I can, two of each of the music notes and then one cherry. But it doesn't always work out that way. But again, each of my bags is according to weight. So some bags may look like they have more than others, but it's not true. They all have the same amount. It's just some may have more pieces. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm curious, what is your favorite kind of scent? Do you like fruity scents? Do you like baked goods? Do you like floral? What do you like? I know for me, it's a toss up between baked goods and floral. Uh, mm -mm, no, oh gosh. Baked goods and fruity is what I like. See, that one got 1.85 in it, but that's, I'm perfectly okay with that. But I am really curious to know what everybody likes. And I was working yesterday on some uh, worksheets that I can give away, like uh, batch records and uh, supplies, cost worksheet, um, worksheet to help you figure the price on your products, because that can be a little tricky sometimes. And I think I got them ready. You know, when you make handmade goods like this, well, not for the wax melts, but for like the soap and the sugar scrubs and the body butter and all that kind of stuff, you actually have to keep records of your ingredients and the lot numbers on each so that if anything would happen, you can go back and look and see exactly what you used and where you got it from. And hopefully you've got the lot number wrote down so it can be tracked down. And it's, it's a little time consuming, but if you get in the habit of doing it, it's not too bad. All right. Now, let's see here. We're getting down to the bottom of the barrel. Let's see what all we're going to get in this one. Oh, yep, that'll work. Okay, great. Ready to put these in the bags now. And so after I get everything all weighed out in my little pack, my little stacks here, then I go ahead and I just fill my bags up. And I use uh, twist ties to close the tops of them and I actually try to leave them a little bit loose. That way, if uh, somebody wants to smell them and, and see what they smell like, you can smell them a little bit easier that way. And I've never known having them airtight to actually help anything or make them last any longer. I don't know what, that's not I got my mold that clean after making those. So the most popular scents that I have as of right now, um, everybody is loving the Blackberry Bubble Gum, which I love it too. And Butt Naked is an absolute favorite. Uh, Blueberry Cobbler is still uh, really ranked up there. Pomegranate, everybody seems to really like that. And then the Sugar Cookie and Birthday Cake birthday cake I've had for a while. It does pretty good. Sugar cookie, I just tried it and I like it. All right. And I got these on Amazon also. I'll try to find them and link them below. They're different color twist ties. I'm such a weirdo. I try to color coordinate these things and sometimes I'll drive myself crazy over it. All right. So we're just gonna loosely get the top of that. See? That way we have a little bit. You can just stick your nose right down in there and smell that. 
Smells good. these liners for the wax melts that in theory they were awesome uh, what did I do with them well here's one that I'm actually using I went ahead and videoed this melting for a time-lapse video I thought it'd be kind of neat but I found these liners uh, they're really cool they're disposable but you're supposed to be able to use them more than once and in theory, that's awesome. You can, you know, change out your scents and your tart warmer really fast. But I don't, I don't think that they, um, the tarts don't smell quite as strong when using one of these. So, uh, I don't know. They're still neat though. But I'm the type of person, if I'm going to put something in my wax warmer, I want to know that I have something in there. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want to smell it. I want to know that there's something in there. I don't really, I don't really do lightly scented. All right. And that's how I do my wax melts. They have one and three quarters ounces in them. And that's it. you enjoyed today's video uh, it was a lot of fun to make and hopefully you picked up a few pointers if nothing else at least we got to visit some so uh, until next time hope you guys have a great day